everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a Vocaholic Art Shop and I'm going to be starting a new series called Solitude. I actually have a painting already done for this series but I thought of this idea afterwards. So I kind of want to do like a Bob Ross style painting video where I kind of show you how I paint and we kind of just vibe and chill together. And if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media accounts, I'll tag them all right here, my personal and vocaholic ones. So give that a follow and definitely subscribe and like this channel. And let me know what other type of videos you'd like to see. So we're gonna get started and today I'm going to be painting the sky and starting also the ground area. As you can see, there's a little bit of a sketch already made on here, but we're kind of just gonna paint over that. It's still gonna be part of the painting later, but I wanna start painting the background in completion and then moving on to the finer details. So I'm gonna be using this picture of me. I just went to the Grand Canyon and I really wanna paint this beautiful sky. And of course, I'm gonna be painting the Grand Canyon in the back as well. First things first, I'm gonna add this mixing medium right here. I'm gonna put a generous amount. Oh, this is brand new, it's not even open. Neat. I should've known better. Now, now I can use it. Alrighty. Now, I'm gonna use this mixing medium. I'm just gonna put a decent amount. This palette is a mess, just don't judge me. And I'm gonna start with this light ultramarine blue paint I got from Golden. I have not seen this color before, it's so pretty. And I recently bought a whole bunch of golden paints because they're better quality and they're thicker material, so we shall see. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this big flat brush right here, dip into the mixing medium and the ultramarine blue, just to kind of get it nice and thin. And I'm gonna go in lightly here. We're gonna have the sky at the top half of this. So I'm gonna go down here and kind of lightly place where I want the colors. And we'll clean it up later, but let me know down in the comments if you wanna know what this painting is about. I basically wanna make this series solitude because I tend to, you know, be alone because I love my own company and I feel like that's where you grow the, not the most per se, but I learn a lot about myself in my solitude and I came up with these paintings during that, so in this whole series and my goal is to finish, I think about nine paintings in this series and apply to Art Basil in Miami and I have an idea to make custom frames for each piece just so that when it's on display it looks insane. So that's my goal with that. So the next layer in this painting is this bright magenta and also as I continue this oh, as I continue this series I definitely want to get a lavalier mic so you can hear the sounds much closer. Hopefully this audio is good as well. Um, yeah, where's that big brush? Oh. I'm just gonna wet the brush a little. And I typically keep a paper towel by my side and I also have an old bed sheet that has paint all over it. I can do a close up of it at the end if you would like. But yeah, I've always used that. And I typically sit on the ground when I paint don't really ever stand unless this unless a painting is really big or I'm getting tired of sitting. Anyway, so we're gonna go in with this pink, lightly and slightly overlap it so it gets that little purple effect. Again, just placing the colors lightly, not planning too much. And we'll definitely layer in more as we continue because right now this layer is pretty sheer especially with the blue 
Mixing medium is making it a lot easier. Should have been using these from the get-go. Beautimus. Now it's time to move on to the coral color. Next, I'm gonna go in with this coral color. I don't have much of it left, but that's okay. And these are really cheap paints from like Walmart. I kind of mix my high end and my cheaper brands because who cares? Whatever gets the job done, am I right? And paint can get expensive real quick. So this is gonna be a really, really thin layer. And again, I'm just experimenting with how to paint skies because I'm trying to make them very seamless and to the point where I don't see streaks. I'm actually gonna go in with some titanium light from Windsor and Newton. I'm gonna put a little bit on my palette so I can mix in with the colors to make them look a little lighter. Little dabble, do ya? Dollop a daisy. Also, you'll notice I kind of sing my words. You know, I've always been in theater, so it's probably why I'm a bit dramatic. Oh, not me painting my carpet. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna mix in some of this white. I actually really like this brush. Okay, she's looking a little bit more natural. Little natural moment. All right, so now I'm gonna move into the pink and add the white before it gets too dry as well. To blend out the sky even more so you don't see these lines straight across, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush later. And I'm trying to challenge myself to make more realistic nature backgrounds as well as hyperrealism skin in my surrealism paintings because I love challenging myself and a lot of the skies I've done in the past you can see some of the streaks and a lot of the backgrounds have been a bit 2D and not as dimensional and so with the mountains in the background this time I kind of want to make it triangular to kind of come into the center also bring in the focus to the eyeball person that's going to be there later um, because I just think it's going to look so much better and I'm super excited for this piece. It's going to be called Unstitch Me and you'll see why later. I'm going to go back into the pink and add some white as well as some mixing medium to also neutralize the pink so it's not so fuchsia in your face. Fuchsia. Baby, like we get it. We get it. Oh, natural, beautimus, woo! And kind of blend the lines between them as well. I'm actually liking filming while I paint just because also it makes me go a little faster than I normally would. There's definitely gonna be times where I paint where I'm not on camera just because I like that time to myself also, but I also want to teach you guys stuff and connect with, you know, the art community more because painting can get lonely because I'm just in my room by myself doing it, you know? So definitely let me know down below if you want to teach me, if you want to teach me, if you want me to teach you anything in particular or any tips on running your own business, anything like that, let it go know in the comments. I'm down. Now I'm gonna go into the coral and the white mix. Ooh. Alrighty. Although I'm adding white, I don't want the coral to be dull, too dulled down. But also in the photo, it kind of has a misty sunsetted vibe so I definitely still want to capture that and also that's going to translate onto the mountains as well and if you're wanting to start out painting just look for the artist that you most resonate with and the style that you would want to express yourself in the most and for me surrealism was that because I can just kind of do whatever my mind conjures up that's a scary word I think but 
whatever visions I have, like either before I go to sleep, during the day, I'm a big daydreamer, so a lot of them come to me then, or I meditate and then I journal and then I paint, or I sketch and then later I'll paint. And that's been helping me a lot because I'm not waiting for inspiration to strike. I'm finding it for myself. Or you can just paint to paint. It doesn't have to be that serious, you know what I'm saying? But since I made a business out of it, kind of got to be thinking of new things as often as possible. So the next shade in the photo is a bit of yellow and kind of a tan vibe so i have yellow ochre and then i also have naples yellow and then i'm going to mix white into that as well i'm obsessed with buying art supplies it's literally a problem i went to michael's today actually because there's a spring sale going on so i had to pick up a few things i picked up two brushes and then this medium and another canvas of this size so i can continue the collection um and i already have white so perfect i'm gonna go in with this big brush get some water on it and then go into yellow ochre in the mixing medium do a thin oh she's pigmented I'm going to go straight in with Naples. It's a slightly more dull yellow. Neutral dull yellow, should I say. The sky is very pigmented right now, but we will take it down a notch soon. I'm just going with the white. We're getting somewhere. Also, let me know down below what type of medium of art you do because I'd be totally down to try a new medium and film it for you guys. You know, I'm always trying new things. I'm trying to expand my horizons and my skill sets. Okay, I need a little bit more white so that yellow is not being brought up as much. Back into the white, white. Okay, that's not white anymore. Ah, all the colors are in here. It's okay. Gonna have a little touch of it because that's how skies are. They're not just one shade each level. Kinda go in and out. Bob and weave, boys, bob and weave. I say some random shit, so just know that as well. Okay? We don't question what I what I say out here. Wow, look at the time. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, 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 get that yellow out. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go back into this light ultramarine blue because that is how the sky is finished in my reference photo. I'm gonna dip back into the water and I'm gonna get my napkin on the ground. I typically wet my brush a lot more than this, but it's kind of crazy filming at the same time, so I'm trying to, you know, balance the two. Ultimately, and this is like a really, really light blue at this, at the top of this, like just barely. Okay, this mixing medium really is doing wonders. Like now I get why it was invented in the first place. I'd also be down to do a paint study where it's ASMR vibes. If you know what I mean, because I love me some ASMR. I really do. It puts me to sleep like a baby. And I have a Blue Yeti mic, aka my sister's mic. Okay, seamless. Okay. Not down here. Up here. We're getting there. Oh my god, she's an artist. She's an artist. Swivel it. Swivel it. Swivel it. 
There's a crunchy part in this brush. I know that's not the right term to use, crunchy. It's preventing me from doing suave swoosh movements. Whatever. Kinda. Do, 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 do. Also, I'm probably gonna have to do a part two because the sun is disappearing on me. And I want good lighting for the painting, obviously. Not so much yellow ochre because it's a little powerful. I think I need it to be Naples shade. Y'all, look at this. <laughs> I'm so shook right now. I have never seen my sky look this blended. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more layering just because I keep using the mixing medium and it's kind of taking a little bit of the paint off in certain areas, so it's a little blotchy, but I am so excited to see how this turns out. And if you guys wanna see how I paint the, lands the rest of the landscape on the bottom here, Tune into the next video because that's what that will be. And so that's my, all my other videos because I'm going to show my process of all of my paintings for this Solitude series. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel, follow me on my other social media platforms, and comment down below what video you would like to see next, especially tip videos, anything like that, q and I'm down to do it, baby. See y'all next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.